Water is up over the pool, up to the sliders, but not in the house yet. We still got an incoming tide coming, so it's gonna be in the house. So this is our infinity pool. It's a new, it's a new style. Um, just joking. Um, out here, here's our, uh, here's our dock right here. We'll show you, we'll go down underneath here and look. So that's our dock. I'll shake it off. I don't wonder if, I wonder if doing that messed up the microphone. Here's a backyard. So I shut the power off to the house. We still have power out here. I can't believe the power didn't knock. The power company didn't kill the grid. But uh, with it getting ready to come into the house, it's just, it's not worth it. Not worth the risk. So I got the power shut off. Um, you know, this, the AC's got a little water in it. Hopefully we can clean that and have that on. Um, and I'm gonna take you out to the front. And we're we're trickling in. Right here, we're right up to the doorstep. But hey, it's not in yet, so there's still hope. What there is no hope for. Some moron in a white SUV, like a land or something, decided that once there was three foot of water in the road, now it's time to leave. Um, so they went by here doing about 20 miles an hour and literally waked my Jeep so hard that water went over the hood all up into the motor and it's already touching the axles and stuff, anyways. But just a boner thing to do, man. Just stupid. Um, the AC. Yard. I don't see any redfish. They're stuck. Mullet. But I'm I'm almost waist deep and I'm not to the water yet. So it's three and a half feet of water in the road, so it's just not even worth trying to make that run. And I think that's gone. That bad that, that boy's going to be gone. But yeah, here we go. You can see down the, down the road there. And now Alan there, he's got his boat that he lives in. He rode it out in the boat. But that's the smartest house to have right there. That's why I like our houseboat down in the Keys. Fire. Tide goes down, you go back down a little lower. You don't, nothing gets flooded. So, the only way to live on the water, I think. So, in there, um, probably not the best idea to be walking through this water. So every time I do go out here and walk around in it, I go in there and take the shower real quick and just rinse my legs off because you don't want to get, there's all kinds of, I'm sure it's, leaking the sewage all kinds of stuff's getting getting brought up so it's it's not the safest thing to be walking around in no but just wanted to go out there and show you guys but we're gonna head back in oh yeah we uh we got it seeping in guys right there slowly creeping in let's see the bedrooms here got the important stuff high and I know it'll seep through the walls in a couple of places. That's why people are like, well, aren't you sandbag? Well, the, once it gets to a certain point, it still seeps in. The sandbags don't really work. Um, and plus, you know, go out just as easy as it came in. You know, that's where we're at. So, all right, guys. Just wanted to give you an update. And here she is. It's coming in now. So. Alright, stay tuned. Alright guys, we are through the worst of it. We had uh, about 3-4 inches of water in here. Um, it was coming over the door there. And I just got everything open now because the water is receding. In fact, you can actually see it 
flowing over the track of the slider there. And then here is the fence. You can see where it reset. Uh, the water's kind of going down now. It's dropped about four or five inches in like the last 10 minutes. It is just dumping out of here, which is good because this is supposed to be the incoming. So it looks like we're, we're, we're good. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm getting ready to start the cleanup process. Obviously we're gonna pump out the pool. I got the garden hose on standby. I'm gonna come in here with the garden hose and just start hosing this salt water out of here. Brooming it out of here. Hosing it out again, brooming it, hosing it, and just kind of flushing everything out that way. And once I get that, I'll start mopping and cleaning. But it's receding out of the front. It's receding off the Jeep. It, it was up to the step plates. So the Jeep's probably trashed. But it's going down. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, the story, I went over to check this house over here. And when I got over there, because um, the power never went out, they, they never shut the grid out. I, you know, I don't know how, they, they probably couldn't get to it to shut it off because it flooded so quickly. But when I walked in there to check it, the stove was actually smoking from the, because there was like four or five inches of water in there. And it was minutes away from a structure fire. And it actually zapped me in the water a little bit because I just had uh, flip flops on. Now I got, uh, now I got my fire boots on. Um, but I had to run to the breaker box and kill all the breakers to the house because it almost burned down. So that was at least a good save. So I stayed out here and some people said, it's stupid, why do you stay out there? Da -da 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 -da. Well, it's for things like that. Um, and now I'm gonna hopefully help some people out, out here and I'm sure some people are gonna help me. So that's what it's about, living on the water. Um, it's paradise, right? That looks like paradise. Um, but that's where we're at. So it's time to get to work. Thanks for watching, guys.